Hey everyone, this is Educated Himalaya. Let's study the chapter 1 of 6th class geography. I'll be trying to break this chapter in a really simple form so that you can revise your basics and understand the chapter. Now, the whole sky is filled with tiny shining objects. Some of them are very bright, some of them are dim. But they all appear to be twinkling. When you, you look, at, look at the sky very carefully, you will see not all of them are twinkling. Now, along with these bright objects, you may also see moon on most of the days but moon however appear at different times in different shapes and in different positions now you can only see full moon once in a month it is known as the full moon a fortnight later which is after 15 days you cannot see it at all it is known as new moon or the night of amavasya now ek sawal aap यहां पर जरूर पूछ सकते हैं कि दिन के वक्त हम ये सारे ब्राइट ऑब्जेक्ट्स स्टार्स और मून्स इनको क्यों नहीं देख सकते इट इज बिकॉज़ द वेरी ब्राइट लाइट ऑफ द सन डज नॉट अलाउ अस टू सी ऑल दिस ब्राइट ऑब्जेक्ट्स व्हिच अपीयर इन द नाइट टाइम नाउ द सन एंड द मून एंड ऑल दोस ऑब्जेक्ट्स शाइनिंग इन द स्काई दे आर नोन एज सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज द सेलेस्टियल बॉडीज आर वेरी बिग एंड हॉट दे आर मेड अप ऑफ गैसेस they have their own heat and light which they emit in large amounts these celestial bodies are known as the stars the prime example of a celestial body or a star is the sun when you continuously look at the sky you might find some of the patterns in which most of the stars are found these patterns or these permanent patterns are known as constellations now ursa major or बिग बियर और सप्त ऋषि इस तरह के एग्जांपल्स आप देख सकते हो बहुत समय पहले जब साइंस इतना ज्यादा एडवांस नहीं थी इन स्टार्स का उपयोग जो था वो डायरेक्शंस जानने के लिए भी किया जाता था वन वन ऑफ देम वाज द नॉर्थ स्टार व्हिच इंडिकेट्स द नॉर्थ डायरेक्शन यू विल ऑलवेज फाइंड द नॉर्थ स्टार फेसिंग टुवर्ड्स नॉर्थ it always remains in the position which is north you can easily find a north star by determining the position of saptarishi now that we have understood this um, the stars there are some celestial bodies which do not have their own light and heat they are lit by the lights of others these are known as the planets the word planets it comes from a greek word which is planet i it means wanderers the earth on which we live is a planet it does not have its own heat and light in our solar system there are eight other planets just like earth but the only place which has a life is earth what is a solar system now the solar system is formed by the sun and the eight planets there are satellites of the planets some other celestial bodies known as asteroids meteoroids they all form the solar system and we often call it as a solar family with the sun as its head. let's study the solar system one by one now the first comes the sun now sun is the center of the solar system it is huge and it is made up of extremely hot gases and it also provides a pulling force which binds the solar system together it, the force is known as the gravitational force the sun is also the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system this energy is enormous but this heat is not felt so much by us because it is far away from us if you look at the distance between sun and the earth is 150 million kilometers away now the planets there are eight planets in our solar system the order of their distance from the sun are like mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune now the easiest way to learn these planets and order is my very efficient mother just served us nuts now jo iske first letters hai usse aap planets ke naam yaad rakh sakte hain all these planets all eight of them they move around the sun in fixed path this path is elongated remember this it is not circular and this path is called orbits the mercury is the nearest to the sun it only takes 88 days to complete one round along its 
orbit. Venus is considered as Earth's twin because its size and shape are very much similar to that of Earth. Venus is also the hottest planet in the solar system. Now, until recently, what happened in 2006, Pluto was considered as a planet, but after a meeting of I, A, U, until recently, now, before August 2006, Pluto was considered as a planet. However, in a meeting of International Astronomical Union, a decision was taken that Pluto, like other celestial objects, will be known as a dwarf planet rather than a planet. Now, let us look at the Earth. Now, Earth is the third nearest planet to the Sun in size. It is the fifth largest planet. It is slightly flattened at the poles. That is why its shape is not exactly circular. It is geoid. Geoid basically means the Earth-like shape. The conditions favorable to support life are probably found only on Earth. The Earth is neither too hot nor too cold. It has water and air which is very essential for the survival. The air has life support in gases like oxygen. Because of these reasons, the Earth is a unique planet in our solar system. If you look from outer space, the Earth appears blue because the two-third of the surface is covered by water. Therefore, it is also known as the blue planet. Now, before we study moon, we have to understand what is a satellite. Satellite is a celestial body that moves around the planet in the same manner as planet moves around the sun. Of course, how do you remember that? Any planet is around the sun and any satellite is around the planet. The moon. The earth has only one natural satellite. Its name is the moon. Its diameter is one quarter of the earth. It appears so big because it is very near to us. It is only 3,84,400 kilometers away from us. Now, if you look at the distance, jitne bhi aur celestial bodies hai, unma se sabse jinnazdik hai wo moon hai. The moon, it moves around the earth. It takes about 27 days. It, it takes exactly the same time to complete one spin. The moon does not have conditions which are favorable for life. Yahan par koi water nahi hai, koi bhi pani available nahi hai. Halanki, it has different features like mountains, it has depressions on its surface. Now, हमने स्टार्स की बात कर ली प्लैनेट्स की बात कर ली सैटेलाइट्स की बात कर ली उसके अलावा भी ऐसी बहुत सारी छोटी-छोटी बॉडीज हैं जो सन के अराउंड मूव करती है वन ऑफ देम आर एस्टेरॉइड्स दीस एस्टेरॉइड्स दे मूव अराउंड दे रिवॉल्व अराउंड द सन इन अ फिक्स्ड ऑर्बिट दे आर जनरली फाउंड बिटवीन द ऑर्बिट्स ऑफ मार्स एंड जुपिटर now, what are meteoroids? The small pieces of rock which, which move around the sun are called meteoroids. Sometimes these meteoroids come near the surface of Earth. They tend to drop on and drop upon it. During this process, due to the friction with the air, they get heated and they burn. The layer in which they burn, you have to mention in the comment box below that who can see layer hedges meteoroids burn hote hai. Now the last term is the galaxy and the universe. What is a galaxy? Now just tarah se, bahut saare planets aur bahut saari celestial bodies ek milakar solar system ko tayar karte hain. Vaise hi bahut saari solar system ek galaxy ko janam dete hain. Like it is a combination of so many solar systems. To isme bahut saare stars ho sakte hain, planets ho sakte hain. Usi tarah se bahut saari galaxies ka jo combination hai, usko hum universe bolte hain. Now it is very difficult to imagine how big the universe is. Now scientists are also trying to think about how big the universe is. Now it is believed that generally it is believed that the universe is going to be very big every second or every time. So it is very difficult to imagine how big the universe is. This is all from this chapter. So I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned for new updates. Thank you.